Hello, my name is Arizona Hummingbird. I'm doing the discussion post uh, over the case study about Lululemon. The case study is called Lululemon Turning Lemons into Lemonade. The case study first talks about the background of Lululemon, how it got started, the seven core values, um, which I'll talk a little bit about further on, but the seven core values are quality, product, integrity, balance, entrepreneurship, fun, and greatness. And then it just talks more about uh, how it got started, which was Chip Wilson found a need for yoga clothing and wanted to start a company and it just took off from there. And they're based out of Canada. Um, so not a U.S. brand, but definitely is in the U.S. and is um, very widely known over the world and it's an international company. So it talks a, bit, a little bit about the background of Lululemon and then it goes into some of the ethical, ethical decision-making, the ethical issues of Lululemon. And so some of the, some of the decisions made that were questions were made by Chip Wilson. Um, he first, First account that the case study talks about is him choosing to put the quote, who is John Galt on a bag without getting any approval by anyone else and then sending that bag out to be sold. So that was his first mistake is not getting approval by, any, by anyone else in the company um, to post something or to sell something, even though, I mean, yes, he's a CEO, but I think that it that he should get approval by others for selling that product. Another one that they had was the false advertising of a legging having seaweed implemented into the clothing. And um, there were two accusations of false advertising toward this, this pair of clothing because one, they tested the product and said there wasn't actually sea seaweed in it seaweed in it and then two Lululemon advertised that seaweed helps with lowering stress levels and um, companies found that this wasn't accurate and so that was one false advertising and then they get a lot of um, they get a lot of people questioning their company culture as in um, they work there they put a lot of pressure on their employees and um, one part that it talks about in the article in the case study is that they push employees to write their goals and post them pushing greatness one of their seven core values too much encouraging employees to and they encourage employees to eavesdrop on customers to hear complaints slash gain reviews so they really push their employees to kind of step into some boundaries that are questionable um Another situation where Chip Wilson uh, made it ethically, he made a statement that was, that was not ethically sound. So he said that he picked Lululemon in the store name, partly not the sole reason, but partly because it sounds funny whenever the Chinese say it. And he admitted to saying that. He said it out in public. Everyone, you know, knows it, everything like that. And then he made a statement regarding people doing reviews over a pair of leggings that they made that they had to recall because these leggings were too see-through. And then they also have some leggings that pill. So this is a question of quality. And um, Chip Wilson, to review, to review that statement, said that it's not their fault. It's the customer's fault for buying too small of pants therefore making them see through, therefore causing them to pill. So some of it is a little bit, a uh, little bit questionable. So after he talks about the ethical, ethically, the not ethically sound statements, they go into talking about the positives of Lululemon. So one of the first ones is customer focus. Um, instead of having a technology-based uh, CPR program, they like to talk to customers directly and hear from them and engage in 
customer relationships and um, really just like hear them out as opposed to getting on the computer and looking at, okay, this person bought this in the fall season and this person bought this in the Dece December season and they kept coming back after that, stuff like that. So they really, they really care about customers and um, talking with them personally to hear what they think about the products and then going on from there with their next um, line or something like that. Um, they also offer free yoga classes to customers and employees to come into and um, just, you know, free yoga class as well as engaging with fellow employees or um, meeting employee or engaging in that employee customer relationship. Um, they also donate to charities. They donated over seven seven hundred fifty thousand to Dalai Lama Center for Peace and Education. Um, they perform extensive hiring processes, so um, they make they require their new their people people going through the hiring process to go through extensive testing and studying the um, products and. Um, the, cut, the company core values, and they hire managers from within to encourage lower level employees, you know, just to, just to say that, hey, like we, we care about you guys and we know that, that you guys want room, you guys want to know that you can improve and we will honor that by allowing employees to work as managers in the future. Um, a little bit more on how they have some positives within their company is that their employees, after a year of employment, Lulu sends employees to an all-expense-paid self-improvement -impro program. They offer group hikes slash um, exercise sessions to help um, employees bond together. Um, they created a fund-a-goal program for high-performing employees and they pay, so they pay for employees to achieve a goal off their list that they first started. Um, every employee is in, required to make a list um, when they first start working for Lulu. And um, throughout the years that they work for Lulu, they encourage those employees to meet those goals. And so at the end, um, after a year of employment, Lulu offers um, or pays for their way to get to achieve one of those goals. Um, 90% 90, 90 of employees claim they would recommend this job to friends. Um, Lululemon has been ranked 76 on Forbes' list of America's best employers, and they provide many benefits to Lululemon ambassadors. Um, Lululemon, Lululemon ambassadors are um, people that have been chosen by Lululemon employees to uh, represent Lululemon, um, wear their clothes, talk about Lulu, uh, go to yoga classes, do running groups, or go to um, CrossFit exercises and just represent Lulu and talk about their product and how this product has really like is really great for this type of workout. Um, and so just a little bit more, I'm kind of uh, centering on the employee company culture, all that stuff. Um, there's been some accusations about the company culture and just talking about how maybe they, they put too much pressure on their employees to achieve greatness. Um, and one of them was the putting advertising or making your goals and then making those goals public. Um, Lululemon requires that, um, you like post them in the, uh, office at your, your set Lululemon like store. And so I just thought that was, um, I just, I wouldn't want my goals posted like that. I would want them uh, secreted or like to myself. And if I had to, I guess I would share it with maybe one manager or something. And so um, my question is that one, um, do you think Lululemon cares about their employees enough? Um, do you think that their goal list is ethical? Um and then my next question is switching back over to Chip Wilson, the former CEO. Um, I think he is, he's still within the company, but I don't think he's the CEO anymore. It's kind of not clear in the case study. 
Um, do you think that they should have fired Chip Chip Wilson after his first me- after his first mess up? So, um, putting putting words on the bag and selling him without any approval. Um, so those are my my questions for you. And then I chose this case because I um, very interested in Lululemon and, and how t- and learning about how they got got so big and like how how they got so successful. And, um, I mean, I wear their clothes. I like their clothes. Um, I run, so their clothes are really great for running. Um, and I've just always wanted to know like a little bit more about their company. And I have heard some things about like their employees are not that nice or their employees really advertise like everyone must be fit, skinny, and always working towards their goal. So I've just kind of wanted to learn a little bit more about the company culture. Um, and then I wanted to also learn about this because, or I also want, wanted to read this case studies because I wanted to learn um, how they bounce back from these um, unethical, unethical decisions that had been made or um, people studying their unethical decisions. And so I wanted to learn more about this. And um, this book also talks about or this case study also talks talks a bit about their company culture and how they do provide benefits, which reminded me of like in the ethical or the business ethics field guide book that we also have, they talk about the stakeholder theory and it reminded me of, of this company because um, they do value the employees and they, they do show that um, they care about the future of the company and um, they know that employees wouldn't be where they are without the employees. So that's a little bit of why I um, wanted to do this case study, and um, thank you for your time. 